Hello guys and girls, Foxy Raven TV here with uh, another New World video. So today I have actually been uh, uh, requested that I make a build guide for my build here. And I will do that. So first of all, this is a squishy build. It's called a glass cannon build for reasons. And um, let's go over the gear here guys and girls. So it's nothing special here, it's just what I could have afford, but it's working, so <laughs> it's it's great, right? So first off, we have the hel helmet here, and of course, the most important uh, perk on this is resilience, resilient, and you need this on all of your gear, really, all of your armor. You need resilient. This is a PvP build, of course, uh, and also the elemental aversion. Is nice because you take less damage from elemental ranger attacks. Next, we have a cheap, cheap, cheap option here for the chest. Uh, the the only two, two perks that are great is of course the resilient and also the freedom because uh, stun and slow. You know, CC is king, right? So uh, yeah. That's amazing, in, in my opinion. Uh, the indestructible, it's nah. So you could actually just go for an epic chest here if you want a cheaper option. Then for the gloves here, again, I choose the cheap option and just went for resilient. And again, it's working, so it's whatever. Then uh, for the for the legs here, we have uh, resilient, of course. And also the thysicle aversion, so you take less damage from range of thysicle attacks. This means that you can actually easily take three, four shots from uh, from range of class, especially because we also have it on the pa I mean on the on the shoes here. So resilience and thysicle aversion as well. And then we have a gem with thrust. Um, and I will show you that later here in the build. For the for the amulet here, we have a, another cheap option. Uh, so it it has slash protection and health. That's just it. And then we uh, put in a trust gem as well. For the ring, I actually farmed all of these cat rings here in, at Brimstone, and the the heart of Dalio is actually the best one for this build in my opinion. So yeah, you can see the see the perks down there. It's it it has hey uh, he, he, whatever hardy whatever. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. So you have more sta max stamina. That's it. So you can you can make three dodge rolls. Uh, yeah. Um, and actually you can you you can wait just a tiny bit. Then you will still have a tiny bit of uh, stamina in your stamina bar. And of course, the trust damage. The trust damage. Come on, it's nice. It's it's actually five percent flat more damage. That's that's it. It's nice. And for the earring, we uh, we just have a whatever earring here. And again, just for the dexterity, as you can see, every single piece only has dexterity. We don't need constitution. We don't need anything else. We need dexterity. So again, it's just a cheap option for the earring here. It's it's just what I had lying around with dexterity only. For the bow. Oh yeah. This bow is king. I love it so much. We have actually uh, sucked this bow with empowered bar uh, brash. The reason is we want that sweet first shot to deal that insane amount of damage. I mean, we're speaking about 12k headshots here uh, with people with some resilient gear. We're speaking about if, if people are stacked on resilient, right, you will still crit for 8k sometimes easily. And if, if people don't have resilience on, you one shot level 60 tanks. I mean, that's that's just it. You one shot them with this. So as you can see, we have crit chance. That's nice. I would actually love if that has the crit damage instead of the crit chance, but it's whatever. Um, and then the headshot, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's it, the headshot, 50% more damage, and it's a crit with headshots as head headshots as well. So, <laughs> and uh, light and heavy attacks deal 
almost 10% more damage. So, yeah, this is this is a really good bow in my opinion. And for the great sword here, we have another. As you can see, it's dexterity, dexterity. So this is just what I found. I mean, the only reason I <laughs> I really use this is because of the le leeching cross cut. Cross cut. Um, this is important uh, if people are, are flanking you and you you didn't see them, and your health will go down fast. You can actually use this and get max health again. I mean, it's just that that easy, and then you can move on uh, from there. And also light and heavy attacks. It's nice, keenly uh, empowered. I mean, yeah, it's it, it's nice. Uh, but again, you can use whatever, just dexterity. And uh, for our evasions down here, in my video where I, I did slay Tokyo uh, 113, I think he, he was named, and a bunch of other people that I didn't record, sadly, uh, I had zero strike damage. I mean, uh, zero strike resistance. And that almost effed me up every single time. So the 7.5% actually does. So this build is even more sick now. And uh, as we all know, there are only one strike weapon and it's a melee one. So that's why that has the lowest amount of uh, resistance in my resistance build here. Uh, slash. I have uh, because of the uh, the necklace here, and uh, and yeah, of course because of the uh, the physical ward here as well. And the trust, as as you are ranged class, you will not go into melee uh, unless you're getting flanked or uh, outplayed or whatever you will call it. And so you are up against ranged classes. Ranged classes. Uh, deal trust damage and that's just it they also can put in a gem like uh, empowered electri electrified here so they also do sorry some uh, elemental damage um, but we have 5% in, in the wrist and that's uh, plenty enough but you're up against fire mages as well, and they they have some sweet range on some of their abilities, so that's why I have put in a fire ward gem here as well, just because we we need that ten percent, eleven percent resistance against uh, the fire mages. Uh, the ice mages is is not a problem. They their range on their on their ability are are short, uh, so it's whatever. Uh, yeah, and yeah, as you can see, we're sitting on uh, 462 dexterity right now. This one has the final upgrade to dexterity, uh, that is 26. As you can see, 26 is the maximum here uh, on your gear, unless it's, of course, your weapons, it's uh, 31. Um, but I'm still missing here, there, and also here. So we can get three more dexterity here so we we will end on 465 dexterity and that's not 500 right so you can either go with the insane expensive route here chili con amadillo the these on my server cost 450 gold right now each and that's just too much in my opinion but you can actually go a cheap route you want to actually go with the Firecracker Eternum Sturgeon. And this gives you 33 dexterity. So if we pop this one, right? We are on 495 dexterity. With the three last upgrades here, we will land on 480. I mean, 498 dexterity. So that's basically 500 dexterity. If we did pop this, we will get seven more dexterity. That means right now we will end on 502. With the three final upgrades, it's 505. And that is the maximum amount of dexterity you can have. 505. 
So uh, yeah, and also I use the common Horning Stone just for the 5% more damage and that's just... I mean, it's a cheap option and it lasts for 30 minutes. It's enough for an outpost rush, really. And if we go down here and look here and we type in the Firecracker, right? I will use that more than I will use the other. You can see 50, 50 coins. It's cheap for 33 dexterity for, for, for 25 minutes here. Um, if we actually go down here, oh, that's the wrong one here. Let's go back here and put in attribute and dexterity. Go down to the Chilicon cat. Yeah, 430 each. If you buy 10 of these, I mean, look, no, no effing way, no effing way, no, 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 don't do that. I mean, just for the seven more dexterity, no, no effing way, dude, don't do that. Let's get up here again, I don't want the stupid goats to aggro me. Did I just stuck myself in? No, 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 there we go. So for the... Uh, and as you can see, uh, the damage. <laughs> it's insane. For the uh, the perks here, I actually used this, and of course I, I'm using the evade shot just to uh, to stagger the enemies and push them away, and also get a distance. And this also deals insane amount of damage, I'm not gonna lie. If you headshot with this, <laughs> you're dealing 10k easily. No shit. Even if you crit, you can deal 10k. Uh, the, the, the wildest damage I have done with a weight shot is 16k. Uh, <laughs> that's just insane. Um, and then we of course use the uh, the dodge and wave. Just so we can get faster away from, from the melee guys. We, we want to get away. And uh, and then uh, we use the evade, evasive tactics here. Tactics for the 15% uh, flat more damage after we dodge. So we dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot. If you if you know what I mean. Um, so 50% more damage. It's just it's just wild. And then we're using uh, this one, so we deal 50% uh, more headshot damage. Not not only headshot damage. It's it's 50% more damage to foes that are at least 10 meters away. That's just insane. And uh, what? This, again, we are a low, 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 low build on health, so um, that was actually not it. It was down here, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, again, we use we're dealing twenty percent more damage to target below twenty health. So these, when they stack, it's it's insane. And uh, heavy at uh, attack arrows fly fast and deal ten percent more damage. Um, heavy attacks deal. 20% increase the damage to foes with 100% health. And, and again, look, 20% more damage when people have full health, right? That goes with the Empowered Brass as well. So that's actually almost 50% more damage to people that has full health. It's insane. So that's why you can one-shot people easily with this build. And, uh... Yeah... We just use this because, yeah, we, we want more range, right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, increase critical, critical chance. So, yeah, that's it. And, uh, again, this one deal 20% uh, extra damage to any foe as long as you have not damaged them for at least 10 seconds. So, the 20% more damage on full target health... Oh, there we go. On full target health. Uh, where is it? That is. No? Uh, yeah, there we go. So so 20% more damage here, right? And another 20% more damage there. And 25% more damage uh, from, from the gem in the bow. I mean, you're one-shotting people. No shit you're one-shotting people right now. And this is what I, I was talking about. We're using this... Because we're dealing so much, uh, so much headshot damage, I can actually go down to one thousand health, and then just one shot a person and go 
back to full health again. It's so insanely powerful because you're dealing so much damage. So 10% of that damage, it, it's just, it's totally effing insane. It's so insane, guys and girls. And, uh, and of course, we're using this one as well. Again, we're dealing 20% more damage with headshots. I mean, this is so insane. It's so brokenly OP. And then we're using the penetrating shot. We don't use the rapid shot because when you use the rapid shot, you are, uh, you're sitting down for too long. I mean, you're, you're sitting down for too long. It just takes too long to fire these rapid shots here. You don't want to do that. You want to be moving all the time because you are squishy build. Move, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. I mean, that's just it. And it's 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 fully uh, maxed here, of course. And as well with the explosive arrow, again, you're shooting it fast. You can move on, and you are even inflicting burn on people. And 10%, I mean 8% of this insane damage we're dealing, it's just insanely good. And uh, I mean, we, we don't need this la final perk. We we really don't need it. Because we're not sitting down, we're we're firing our abilities and while we are actually moving, and we are we can retreat with dodge and wave. Let's go over to the uh, people are uh, people normally use uh, where is it the rapier right? I don't do that. I don't do that shit because it's broken, and they are even they're they're gonna re redo all of I mean most of the uh, of the abilities here anywho. So I don't want to get into that uh, BS. So <laughs> what I actually do is I use the great sword, and there are simply many good reasons to use the great sword, sword as I do here. Again, because of the cr uh, cross cut, we we get uh, was it uh, 50, 40? Yeah, seventy two of our damage dealt back as health, and I mean we we can crit with this. Uh, f for 10k, so 10k damage, right? That's full health. Look at our health down there. Look, so 10k, and we have 7,200, and that is actually 72%. So yeah, that is one of the reasons. Uh, and uh, then we have the giant slayer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have some for armor penetration. And again, this one. This one. Gain 20% haste for 5 seconds when using Onslaught 3 abilities. That is why we have the relent relent <laughs> Relentless Rush. Because when we spin through people, we slow them, but we also get haste. That means that they're moving slower, and we are moving faster. So, as you can see, we can get away pretty fast here. And then we just switch to our bow when that runs out, and then just continue, just like that. Look at all of these hyenas here. They want to die. That was not a headshot. That was not a headshot either. Let's just uh, make them d damage us, right? There we go. Look at our health. It almost went fully up here. And we're back at full health again. That's just how broken Leopi it is. It's so stupid. It's just so stupid, stupid. We're not, we're not done with our build, though. Um... Let's just uh, see if we can't... Uh... No, that's not a headshot. Come on! The goat needs to die. That's almost 10k. I don't think that was a headshot though. And we didn't pull our, our bow. To the max here. 
There we go. 10k. <laughs> Boom. So yeah. This uh, it's it's insane. I'm just gonna take this because it's money. It's free money right there. I mean five gold each. How much does it give here? Four? So that's twenty. That's okay. Let's get up here. So let's continue here. Sorry for for that distraction here. Um and uh so yeah, it's uh, it's it's insane, just like this, in my opinion. And uh, as as you can see here, when we're landing a, a critical hit, right, we regain five stamina and and five percent base health per second for five seconds, and we're critting all all the time. I mean, <laughs> why would you use rapier? And then we all, of course, have this one, just to stagger people, just to stagger the efforts. So uh, we can we can get away and uh, fire the, uh, bow arrows into the heads. Uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's insane. And also good against, against healers. Um, and then we, of course, have this one as well, because charge heavy attacks have grit and we're also inflicting blade for six second dealing five percent weapon damage every second and again five percent sounds like nothing but with this build with so much sticks you're dealing so much damage it's insane and um, yeah then we have fair uh, have this one as well um because you you have so many great sword buffs just by uh, doing these abilities here, so it would be stupid not to get the three percent uh, more damage for each buff, and that's max for uh, four buffs, but it's twelve it's twelve percent more damage just when we fire one ability out here, and uh, then we have this one as well, uh, just because I had to take one. And as uh, the great sword is just a secondary, it's not a main weapon. I actually think this one was better. Um, yeah, I I just think it's it's all better. Um, so yeah, there you have it, guys and girls. That's that's my my build here. Uh, but uh, let's see how many buffs do I get here? I get three right there. And if we hit people. We we get we get more than three. So just by using the ability, we get three buffs, and that is nine percent more damage right there. So uh, yeah, this build is broken. Uh, Amazon needs to. Uh, I as as much as I like this build, right? I have to admit that it's broken OP. And Amazon needs to fix this. They need to do something. They need to to redo the uh, the perks i mean the attributes here and they also need to look into the bow and people say but the bow was g is getting a nerf now no no it's not it's getting an insane buff listen guys and girls if you are up against people people when you uh, aim at them they will go behind cover but they will still stick out a little and if i if the, if a, if a person let's let's just <clears throat> use this AFK p person here as as the uh, uh, whatever. If we actually see here, we can see him. But if we shoot, we are shooting at him right now. But look, we're hitting the fucking wall. Look, we're hitting the wall here. And that is because the arrow has a a wider and larger hitbox. So if we shoot the arrow right. We see an arrow, but the the area that uh, ar uh, arrow will hit is actually larger than the arrow itself, and that is what what they are fixing. They are fixing so the arrow will hit a smaller area. Um, so it actually means that we will hit this dude even if we're standing here. We will hit him and not the wall here. Because now we're we're missing right there. We're missing him, right here. We actually hit him right there, but we're still 
away from the target. If we're hitting the target right, we're actually hitting a wall here. And that is because of the hitbox on the arrows. So, um, it's not an nerf, guys and girls. It's an insane buff. It's It really is. It's just insane. And another reason uh, why you should not use the uh, the triple shot, really. <clears throat> that is actually the only nerf I can see is the uh, rapid shot here. That will actually get a nerf by the buff, uh, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that that's why you should go with the penetrating shot here instead of the rapid shot. And also with the explosive arrow instead of the rapid shot. Anywho, guys and girls, that is my build, and it's freaking amazing. Anywho, take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.